On my test bench is the i5-2500K overclocked to 4.9 gigahertz at 1.5 volts. I'm using thermal pads by Innovation Cooling and the Deepcool Gamix 400. Not all CPU coolers are cut out for thermal pads, so let's get the Deepcool Gamix 400 installed and I'll show you what I'm talking about in this video. The Deepcool Gamix 400 is installed with its blue LED fan. We have real temp, we have Prime 95. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to small FFTs, AVX disabled, kick off the stress test, and I'll report back to you after a significant amount of time. All right, so I can legitimately say that this CPU cooler hasn't been running for a significant amount of time, and that's primarily because we are getting very close to thermal throttling, where temperatures are reaching 98, almost 99 degrees Celsius. The RPM speed and noise of the fan, as well as the CPU temperature temperatures were so high, I couldn't help but to think, what would the temperature difference be if I swapped out the thermal pad with thermal paste? So we have the Deepcool Gamex 400 installed with thermal paste. The ambient temperature is 66 degrees Fahrenheit. And we have the same utilities up on the screen, real temp and Prime 95. I'm gonna go ahead and kick Prime 95 off with small FFTs and ABX disabled. And we'll see if we can get an improvement in temperatures by going from thermal pads to thermal paste. All right, so surprisingly enough, the Deepcool Gamex 400 has been running for a significant amount of time. Temperatures under real temp are significantly lower than when using thermal pads. We were reaching temperatures very close to thermal throttling, almost at 100 degrees Celsius, and now we're seeing topped out at 84 to 85 degrees Celsius. One of the last videos was part one of the thermal pads versus thermal paste in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, where I tested both the Noctua Anitru 12S and the Scythe Mugen 5 Revision B. And both of those CPU coolers showed only a two degrees Celsius difference going from thermal pads to thermal paste. And that reason is because of clamping force. The Intel brackets for the Deepcool Gamix 400 are very similar to the stock Intel heatsink. Those four plastic rotatable push pins that mount the heatsink to the motherboard resulted in less clamping force, which ultimately yielded a 10 to 15 degrees Celsius difference going from thermal pads to thermal paste. Don't get me wrong, I am in no way, shape, or form knocking the Deepcool Gamix 400. I just don't recommend thermal pads on the Intel mounting brackets. Once I switched over to thermal paste, I was getting excellent thermals on my test bench with my overclocked i5 at 4.9 gigahertz. Coming in at $19 free shipping when I purchased this CPU cooler, the Deepcool Gamix 400 is an excellent value for the money.